I can't distinguish between community and creative. I don't think we should because our, our, our creatives lives within, live within a community and our communities equally have lots of creatives in. And I think there's lots of people out there in all of these spaces that have got an idea. And actually what makes a great cultural entrepreneur is that person that not only sees the idea, identifies a space, knows the people they want to work with, and because they're proactive, and it is about, it's about mobilising, it's about action, they can go off and do it, and do it really successfully, probably with not very much, without any money, any support, other than this drive. And it's also about recognising where there are gaps and issues, and being practical focused in what you can do to, you know, close that gap. You know, there's a, um, you don't have to go off and think about it for the next three years and kind of look at lots of things. You just think, actually, this practice that I'm doing over here is absolutely perfect and there's a real need for it over there. And, and just being able to jump into those opportunities. You get lots of people who are creative, but they can't see that. They, they create within their own virtual world and environment but a real entrepreneur is the one that's looking at this creativity and seeing where else it's needed, you know, across sectors, across communities.